on hello ladies and gentlemen I'll repeat chess here I just want to, sh uh, to show you the game between uh, Magnus Carlsen and Arjun um, Indian Grandmaster actually Arjun I saw him in Riga last year he, and uh, we had this uh, Riga Technical University open which had uh, like Pragnantha and uh, Nihal and Arjun and all I mean Indian and Grandmasters which was like big event so I saw him, I didn't expect him, you know, to get that big uh, in chess, but uh, it turns out he's one of, you know, next generation to play against uh, uh, against Magnus. And uh, yeah, Magnus uh, gave a lot of uh, complimentary words towards him, saying that he's very good chess player, very practical. Uh, I don't know him really well, but uh, definitely he... Uh, he's praised for for something so let's see this game um uh, and uh, uh magnus i think will pretty much end this um, first day winning two two and a half against half so magnus is playing white i'm just showing it because i think it's easier to comment when you understand what's uh, from the point of black how difficult it's to fight against such strong chess player Knight <clears throat> um, f3, uh, d5, um, probably white can transpose with d4 to more classical lines, but Magnus plays g, g3 and g6. So this is first uh, first game between uh, Magnus Carlsen and Anand in 2013, where uh, Anand played uh, black pieces and they drew. Uh, but I don't like this uh move myself because i think uh, black is just a little bit too passive I, I play more like c5 and it's maybe it's worse but uh just for me it's more clear how to get counter play uh, d4 uh, another way i think was d3 to play but a more sharper line and c3 so kind of anti um system I don't know, not London, of course, but uh, just uh, getting a game rather than to get a lot of theory after C4, which is the, the, the engine move. A5, get in space, because with this close center, you can allow uh, yourself uh, to build up whatever you want, basically. Bishop F4. I think Magnus is one of his um, favorite moves. Um, Bishop g5 is more uh, forced line, uh, and with bishop f4 you can just dominate the board, which Magnus likes to do, I think, more. c6, uh, queen to c1, uh, creating some battery. Not, 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 uh, not sure that he wants to play bishop h6 trading bishops, because this bishop is pretty bad so far, that's why white plays c3, but probably allowing uh, rook to d1 if position opens up uh, bishop g4 so bishop g4 is uh, um, uh, is a move which you want to play because uh, in this system black normally plays e6 and they are a little bit worse but uh, their position considered to be very solid and uh, that's exactly what Arjun get uh, and also you want to trade it because it's pretty bad bishop in the system and uh, it actually takes a lot of space yeah you cannot connect rooks so uh, I'd, I'd consider playing h3 first but Magnus wants to get two bishops because he's um, he many times said that to be uh, that uh, bishop is much stronger than a knight it's his personal like opinion but he plays with knights well very well anyway knight to d7 so he gets two bishops. Two bishops, uh, healthy structure, like nothing really special, but Engine says that it's all zeros, but uh, Magnus just builds up uh, and he has a lot of ideas. I uh, mean, he understands the structure and this is the beginning of the game because for us it's like zeros, black has good position and it can turn either way, but for these grandmasters the game just began. 
Rook eight. Uh, I don't really like this decision um, because for me, um, I I had um, been playing positions with knight on d7, this f7, f6, nine, and then aiming for e5. But with uh, this structure, it's kind of um, hard to play like this. And even though if you even get this, you might get in trouble anyway. So not really a big fan of e6. And Magnus plays c4. Uh, move I cannot really explain, but again, it's um, uh, probably there is this positional idea to play c5 and get this space advantage. And on the other side, if black takes here, which is um, quite normal, then this bishop becomes a real, uh, you know, asset for white. Uh, queen to b6 and rook to d1. Like I said, uh, just freeing this square for the for the queen, uh, for the rook. I'm sorry, and uh, just developing. Ninety five and bishop to e3 um uh devel uh, again uh i wouldn't consider this uh, engine says that each e3 is better but uh, kind of this bishop here is a little bit um uh, placed um, not misplaced uh, but you have to like uh, keep an eye on him that you don't lose it so Magnus plays bishop e3 and knight to e5. Again, a uh, very hard move to play. I wouldn't even consider it, but uh, there is tactic behind it. Yeah, that you take here. And uh, this position is uh, pretty much winning for white. They have excellent bishops. This pawn is uh, completely misplaced. So he... he um, so you cannot really capture this knight, and then white will reinforce it with a four when they when they have time. Queen c two and c five. So uh, um, Magnus decides that it's time to close the position, and he has plan that basically this knight goes to b five. Engine said that knight f five is is better, but uh, um, the problem is that these pieces are on the uh, on the queen side, and somehow Magnus makes uh, a big game on the king side. Yeah, whereas uh, these pieces cannot help. So he starts with f4. I would never consider it again. I, I think White could play for something else. For um, I don't know. I think. Engine says that a4 is the best move, and then trying b4 putting rooks here and uh, pushing this um, b7 pawn, but um, I just things different. f4 and g4. So um, again, Magnus just wants to uh, let black invest a lot of tempi in this uh, moving forward. And in the same time, um, these pawns are uh, just, uh, you know, uh, starting attack the king. Again, it doesn't look serious. Angel said that the position is pretty much equal, uh, but um, you're getting. I mean, these moves are not apparent, and uh, it's really hard to understand whether it's bluff or it's really going to be a big threat. A3, B3, of course. Uh, rook D8, Rook C1. You want to, you know develop all pieces because the position is closed. Uh, I play like this as well. I try not to calculate too much when you have just easy moves on the board. I think rook c1 is pretty easy. Uh, bishop to f2 and now uh, if white plays e3 then um, their position becomes very natural, very good looking and um, uh, black just um, black position is fine, but uh, they don't have counterplay. That's the problem. E6 has a inaccuracy. Uh, bishop h uh, h4. So uh, white attacks this rook on d8, and if you move it, then you lose your knight. So you have to you know respond to it. Actually, engine move is g5, saying that black is fine after this move. 
and if you take then we play f6 and kind of uh, taking a piece if you capture here then yeah something like this g takes f and black is fine even better uh, but very hard move to just uh, even consider f6 is very natural knight f8 notice that again these pieces are very far from uh, from what's going on on the king side e3 queen h5 uh, bishop to f1 so uh, uh, making space for uh, the queen and preparing to play bishop to d3 knight c7 is a mistake inaccuracy and uh, white plays g5 um i i mean i'm very like uh, astonished yeah but what's going on because uh white's attack didn't look uh, really natural didn't look uh, promising but uh, this pawn moves actually a bit strange but uh, in the same time it kind of opens up the game I, I could play only like h4, h5, trade, and then build up on the h-file. But Magnus somehow just finds a way to crack this open. Knight d7, takes, 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 and bishop d3. So you get one of the best bishops in the game you can ever imagine. Yeah, all these pawns are on the white squares. King is very weak. White has perfect king, and... Um, uh, basically white has winning position not basically but they have uh, plus 1.7 engine engine um, evaluation and uh, what white uh, why magnus is so good yeah he's very good at this uh, static uh, positions yeah he understands how to you know how the spoon trades change the position yeah which and somehow forces black to you know make these mis small mistakes to f6 was a big mistake and after that the position uh, structure wise just collapses the rest is uh, i mean it's like play by hand yeah it's uh, absolutely not nothing to comment because g file is screaming you yeah. open this bishop is attacked and this uh, queen is miserable yeah knight g7 probably thinking of f5 you cannot really play knight f5 because uh, bishop will take and queen will take and then again mate threats and uh, magnus captures which is the best move uh angel says that black is losing at this point uh, I can't really tell you all the variations like Neiman, but uh, uh, Knight G5 uh, uh, just uh, black cannot move really, yeah, because this king on G8 uh, doesn't have anywhere to run. This queen is dominating. Knight D5 threatening mate takes takes and the the uh, the only winning move is uh rook to g4 because now white threatens rook h4 and uh, infiltrate with queen queen takes and in this position engine uh, says that it's made in 22 moves and black resigned i would do of course a couple of moves i wouldn't resign right here but like king to f8 wins to this combination yeah, absolutely winning for white. They have two extra, three extra pawns and a mating attack. All right, another masterpiece by Magnus. Uh, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.